This is the Carbonox smartwatch. One thing that is unique about this is its durability. Let me show you when I tried to scratch this. Now I've got this reflective light so you can see there are no scratches on this screen. It is totally as smooth as can be. So I'm gonna get a precision screwdriver and let's just see what we can do. Oh man. Um, I don't know if you can tell how hard I'm pushing down on the screen with this screwdriver, but I'm not intentionally going light. I am really trying to scratch a dent in here. And I am, ooh, did I do it? Nope, that was just a flake that came off the screwdriver. So if you look at the screen, there is not a scratch at all. So I've, I've been trying to scratch it with this metal screwdriver and I cannot do it. This watch was sent to me about three months ago so I could do this review. And I, I've actually done a lot of smart watch reviews. Usually I'll wear the watch for about a week, try it out, do the review. I've been wearing this about every day for three months just because I like it that much. It's certainly not a perfect watch. And before I go over what I do and don't like about it, let me walk you through the complete unboxing and setting up experience so you can know exactly what to expect if you get this watch. Are you ready for your lifetime smartwatch? I am. Sweet. All right. Open this. You will need it. This is probably the charger. And indeed it is the charger. So here is how it looks with the screen turned off. So you do have a button on the side here. Here's the charging contacts and here are some of the sensors. And then on this side, you've got a couple other buttons. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Felt it vibrate, Carbonox, English. Yes, please. Scan QR code to pair. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, that takes us to the Glory Fit download page. Page. I would like to do this at the Google Play Store. Looks like we can log in with Google. I'll go ahead and do that. Set my height and, and you don't need to look at my weight. Calculate sleep habits according to age, eh? Interesting. Has a default target step of 8,000. I'll keep that the same. Then it asks for you to select the device. So let's go ahead and it looks like it recognized it right away. That's nice. So it is now connecting, connected successfully. That was really easy setup. And it does look like the watch battery is pretty close to being dead. So let's go ahead and charge this up a bit. So we can set different watch faces. It looks like it has a store of different watch faces. I'm not going to mess with this for now. I'll just leave the default. Heart rate monitoring is turned on. Blood oxygen setting is turned off. Call reminder off. Let's see, app reminder. So now we can set. Now we will need to allow Glory Fit to work with notifications. All right. And so it does have some default apps, but it also says we can select some more apps. So I want to turn on Messenger and Gmail and then select more apps. Oh, fantastic. All right. So this will allow me to select other apps for notifications. Now, I don't like notifications for a lot, but there are some things like, we'll say meet and chat. I would like a notification for that. If I get that Google Voice, yes, please messenger sure slack definitely i use this for work so i will need notifications for that very happy that it lets me customize the notifications so many of these smartwatches from china don't allow you to do that that is one of the most important things for me so big thumbs up there raise hand to activate display i do want that turned on so that would be nice and then let's check out the universal settings shake to take picture that seems kind of weird let's check out some of the sports so you can select the sport that you want to play and then it will record the data for that well we've given it a couple minutes to charge as soon as i take it off the dock we can see the display so this is the default display you can see the time that does not stay on for very long that's interesting but it should come on when i move my wrist to look at it and indeed it does so you can press the power button to turn it on and off. And let's see. So daily activities, we can use this to choose different activities. Sleep will record sleep data. Heart rate, I'm not wearing it, but you can see it turns on the sensors for the heart rate when you turn that on. Blood oxygen will do the same thing. Blood pressure, overcast. Now, I don't know if it has the location data for this or not. Let's see if we can change this to Fahrenheit. If we go back to 
device, universal settings, device language, yes. Oh, here we go. So if we go to our own profile, we can change the units. Let's go ahead and change this to Fahrenheit. We'll do the British system and we'll do pounds because I am in the US. Training plan. Um, we can set goals for a step number. Looks like we can set weekly reminders back to today. Third party access Google Fit. Yeah, let's do this. We will allow Google to connect. That's fantastic. All right. Now now if we go back to the weather, that's what I want to see. And we can add some components. So let's go ahead and do that. So I don't really need blood oxygen or blood pressure. I will take this out. And music. Yeah, I would like to add music. Let's also add call. Hey, I just got a notification. Well, this is a notification from Messenger. It looks like someone is asking me to review something. Keep on getting notified from Messenger. I like how these notifications pop up and you do have a delete button if you want to remove the notification. I'm going to go ahead and dial. I'm going to call my own number. I am calling out. Cool beans. Let me answer. Hello. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? Change the volume while in a call. Can mute myself. There we go. Now I cannot hear. That's pretty cool. And now I will hang up. Hey, that was really easy. Well, that's cool. So I can control music. My two favorite things about this watch for one, absolutely durable. I wear this all the time. I do a lot of yard work. I'm outside a lot. I like to hike. I do outdoor activities. And this watch looks just as gorgeous as it did the day I first started wearing it. It's been banged up, but you can't tell from looking at it. Really impressive. I still can't believe you can just get metal and try to scratch it up and it does absolutely nothing to it. That is really cool. The other thing I like about this is notifications. I can set what apps I want to be notified fight about. Super useful, especially for my job where a lot of what I do, I need to immediately respond to. So this has been really nice for that. As far as what I don't like about it, I think the main thing for me, honestly, is just that it's a little bit bigger than I would like. If they could make this smaller, it'd be a little bit more comfortable. It's not too bad during the day, but I do take it off at night because it's uncomfortable for me to sleep with. Another area where I think it could improve is with the notifications. It's great that it allows you to select what apps you want to notify you about, but it doesn't work for all apps. Specifically, Google Calendar. I can't set notifications for this. That's the only app that I'm missing that I want to be notified about, but I wish it just gave you the option to select any app you have installed on your phone. Another thing to be aware of with the notifications is it just does like the first line. So if you get an email or a text, it does the first part of the email or text, and you cannot scroll and read the whole entire email. So if you want to do something like that, you do have to bust out your phone to do the rest. I think that's an area where this could improve. As far as the app goes, I think the app is pretty good. It's not the best app I've ever used, but it does do a good job organizing the data that you might want, especially if you're very active or you're trying to be more active. You can do things like blood oxygen level or blood pressure or things like that. You can also use this to track your sports when you're doing different sports. If you're looking for a smartwatch that you can use to track your different activities and you need something that's durable, this is it. This is really impressive smartwatch. There are certainly areas for improvement and hopefully they'll implement some of the improvements, but as is, I'm really impressed with this smartwatch. You should check it out. Thanks for watching.